what kind of day was that for the quarterbacks? Uh, obviously, some really uh, big numbers that a lot of you put up and a lot of passes thrown around. And, uh, you know, what did you learn about your wide receivers today? Um, you know, I wouldn't say you learn anything new. Uh, being at practice is just another day to us. Uh, you know, we had seen AD and D Rob and Kiers and all the guys make plays like that before. Um, and I think I think part of that is just really good quarterback room uh, and a good system. You know, uh, Carson prepares like a starter, Stetson prepares like a starter, uh, and Brock prepares like a starter. Everyone's uh, you know all about doing their job to get better every day. Uh, and I think you saw it in a spring game where you know there's a you know certain things are simplified and made a little easier. JT, you mentioned AD. He was obviously targeted a lot this game. Uh, any reason in particular that you kind of honed in on him a lot? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just about AD in general. Uh, you know, he's very twitchy. Uh, he's got a really good, uh, you know, understanding of how to get in and out of breaks, uh, which I think makes a good case for him uh, when he's one on one. Uh, so that's part of it. Another part of it is just him being in the X position. Um, you know, it gives him you know, a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities to win. And when you, you, you see a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, when you see your exes get the ball, um, you know, more often than not. But uh, I'd say that, that's usually just how the way it works out is, uh, you know, if the defense, the, you go where the defense tells you to. If, uh, you know, defense is based on what they're playing, if it's saying D-Rob at Z, St. Kier, at F, you know, you just take what they give you. We'll next go to Chip Towers, followed by uh, Anthony Dash. Yeah, JT, can you just talk about what it's like to go against that defense? I guess you've been going against them most of the time in, in increments in practice, but um, you know, it looks like they they pretty much give you all you can handle almost every down. Yeah, uh, and that, that's that's one thing you got you got to mention when you talk about Georgia football is uh, that defense gives you everything every down. Um, you know, starting with that front seven, it's it's absolutely elite, and the secondary, you know, a little inexperienced in the secondary, but don't uh don't hold that against them. There's a lot of talent there. Uh, there's a lot of good players. I'm, there, there's there's no fear, uh, you know, in my mind, and there, there's no fear that I feel uh, with that secondary on the field. You know, they they uh, they give us a look every day. Um, they make a lot of plays. You know, we make a lot of plays on them, but it's just it's just good on good. Uh, you know, we made some plays today, and they made some really good uh, breakups today too. Hey JT, good to see you. I know you weren't throwing to Darnell today, but just kind of what have you seen from him this spring? I mean, the, his his growth and knowledge of the offense, and how much more of a receiver he can be in a weapon offense from that standpoint. Yeah, you, you definitely do see a development in him. You know, last year, obviously, when you're coming from high school football to a real, you know, Coach Monk and NFL system in college, uh, there's a there's a shock that hits you right away. Um, you know, just because there's so much to it. Uh, you see it this year. Um, he gets a signal right away, and he knows what he's doing. He's not thinking twice about it compared to last year. You know, everyone that's new has a you know a lot of mental errors, and you know it's just, it's just new. Um, and in terms of his development physically, I think he's gotten a lot smoother um, in terms of getting in and out of breaks. Um, and he's always had good instinct, but it's gotten even better to me in terms of understanding where the ball is going to be thrown, uh, understanding where his grass is, uh, and really taking advantage of you know his size. We'll next go to uh, Dean Leggy, followed by Charles Odom, and that may be our last two questions. JT, you hit the uh, backs, I think, 12 times uh, today. As a quarterback, I'm sure you always want to score touchdowns, throw it deep, et cetera. What, what's the value in hitting guys short like that? That's a yeah, great question. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, especially I, I, I love throwing the ball deep, and you see it a lot. But uh, especially when you have James, uh, James, you know, Zamir, Kendall, all the guys we have. Uh, I think ch check downs in general are the most underrated, underappreciated aspect of the offense. Uh, you know, at a bare minimum, it's it's easy to throw. At a bare minimum, it's three yards, and that's if the first guy tackles them. Uh, it, it's very, very rare that the first guy tackles any of our running backs. So, you, you know, if a defense wants to bring vertical pressure and drop back and play soft or they're playing good coverage, uh, you know, you, if I have to check down 10 times in a row, I'll check it down 10 times in a row. There's, there's no... Uh, you know, there's there's no problem with that for me. Um, and I think you saw it a lot for Cincinnati. Um, that two minute drive consisted of a pass to George and then five or four or five checkdowns in a row. Um, you know, it, it's really just taking what the defense gives you. And we trust our we, we, we trust our running backs with the ball to make people miss. JT, coming back from injury, you had to um, have a, be a, a quick learn uh, for you last year. Um, how important has this spring been for, for you with that, uh, with that in mind? 
Oh, it's massive. Um, you know, this is, I think this is like my fourth, this might be my fifth spring ball in my life, including high school. Um, so I've never really had too much experience in spring, but uh, the years that you do, I mean, it's just 15 extra practices. It's, it's 15 practice worth, practices worth of reps uh, with the guys you're going to be playing. So, you know, if you got something that you want to work on based on last year that you saw that you didn't like, you have all spring to do it without having to wait a whole year. Um, but there's been a lot of overall improvement to me personally. And then also with, uh, you know, a lot of guys stepping up at the receiver room, there's a lot, there's a lot better chemistry that you notice from the spring game as compared to the 180 was first starting to, you know, rip with the ones. Thanks, JT. Appreciate it. Good game, buddy. Gotcha. Thank you guys. Good luck.